Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series of the week. And today we're going to be covering Sun in the 12th house for Taurus Ascendant people. And what happens when Sun is sitting in the 12th house in the sign of Aries for Taurus Ascendant? And this is different from my, you know, series that I've made of planets and signs and planets and houses. Because now we have a planet ruling a certain house, sitting in a certain house for a certain Ascendant. So things get a little bit more complex. And if you do not know where your sun is placed, you know, what degrees it at, if it's exalted in the 12th house as the series, all the other planet replacements, for that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report, including my books, astrology, conjunction, and aspects at the speed of light, including all my consultations at this link. So, for Taurus Ascendant people, sun rules the fixed house of the fourth house with his fixed sign of Leo. Because Leo is a very fixed sign, it's a very fixed energy. These people love their, you know, a certain way, a certain routine, wherever the sign is placed. So in the fourth house shows, they originally, these people, like to have a very stable, secure, routine environment within the home. The home has to be like a palace, like a royal palace. Home has to be where their heart just expands whenever they come in. Because it's that routine, that fixed thing that makes them feel comfortable. And fourth house, as you know, is the house of mother, happiness. It's your heart chakra. It's your feelings. It's what makes you feel happy. Now, son, the, who rules this fourth house, is in the twelfth house. In a movable sign of Aries where sun is exalted. Sun does very well here. And fourth lord is ninth from itself. What does that show? This shows that this is the kind of person who will find their happiness, who will find their spiritual joy, and who will find their ego and discover their ego by being in isolation, especially in foreign places and foreign lands. So when you go to foreign lands, your ego will develop, your ego will stabilize. You become a better human being when you go in isolated places. These are the folks who actually like being in isolation. They enjoy isolation. They like being in isolation. They love traveling. And their heart and their happiness comes when they experience the spiritual side of the world, when they leave the home. And obviously, because 4th Lord is in the 12th house, 4th Lord in the 9th house, 12th house easily shows somebody will be settling in foreign places and foreign lands, or somebody has a desire to settle in foreign places and foreign lands. Now, obviously, Aries is a very Tamasic sign. It's a very individualistic sign. It's a sign which is all about me, me, me. Very aggressive, very crude sign. But this is why Sun is exalted here. Because Sun is who? Sun is the king. Sun is the one who's able to take the energy of Aries and work its ego out. So when Sun is in Aries, people usually do not think you're a complete asshole. People do not think you're of somebody who's very rude and very, you know, uh, materialistic or somebody who's, uh, you know, like a general. People naturally think that, wow, you are a leader. You're like a managerial quality type person. You should be in executive position. People automatically recognize you as somebody who needs to be in a higher position. There is this aura that you exuberate, is this energy that you exuberate. And this is where a Taurus Ascendant person finds their balance and happiness more in the spiritual realm than in the materialistic realm. But um, especially with this position, those shows that they will have properties in foreign places, foreign lands. And if they were to ever go into the real estate business, especially either dealing with foreign entities or doing this business in foreign lands will provide great opportunities. But here, simply what it shows, because fourth Lord is ninth from itself, that your ego will have its higher dimensional philosophy be learned in a different isolated place. This also shows your mother is a very respected person. Mother is a very authoritative person, naturally, but she's well respected. She's the one who kind of guides you into the right spiritual direction throughout your life. And especially if you 
have like Saturn also with um, Sun here in, for Taurus the Sun and people you will notice that both parents are involved in some spiritual activities they may be opening up temples they may be part of some religious organization and they have a very hardcore spiritual practices happening but mainly here you know shows that your self-esteem your ego really is very much you know in tuned with your spiritual side it's like your ego is not really even there and remember 12th house for sun is known as a position of marna karka meaning there are certain houses where a planet goes and dies meaning it loses its original quality like let's say rahu goes into the ninth house rahu hates organized religion and rahu hates law and in the ninth house he's forced to deal with these things so he feels uncomfortable same thing with the sun it's like taking a, a king and putting them into a jail into an exile putting him into a completely different country where they're not even the king of what do they do but because sun is exalted shows that they become king of the spiritual world they become they find their kingdom within the spiritual realm okay so guys this was my analysis of uh, sun in the 12th house for taurus ascendant if you're new to my channel subscribe below and again if you want to know where your sun is placed all my all your other planet replacements my books reports consultations for that check out the links here otherwise we'll see you tomorrow bye, -bye.